I tell you, I uh, finally watched um, Killers of the Flower Poon. Millers of the Flower Coon? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, I did not know you finally got through that thing. Yeah, I know. I did. Yeah. What'd you think? I really liked it. It's good, isn't it? I liked it more than I liked Oppenheimer. And I liked Oppenheimer. I'm not saying Me I too. Like Oppenheimer. Me too. I liked Oppenheimer. I like Killers of the Flower Moon more. Yeah. 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 That's and it doesn't it doesn't feel as long as it is. It's it's it just keeps you it's it's nice. It just keeps unfolding page after page like a book. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon. Follow us on our official Twitter account. Subscribe and hit that like button. Oh, yeah. Hit the button, baby. Oh, yeah. Hit it. Hit it good. Hit it hard. Hit it soft. Wait, what? Uh, today, got a button. welcome back to Classic Month. It's classic month. It's classic month where everything is old. Uh, in this one, not as old as some of the other ones because it's uh, no. it's Malayalam, and uh, I, I've given some stituents for uh, Malayalam uh, because their classic and golden era was a little different than 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 others. And so, uh, Indeed. Indeed. Uh, we decided to explore a new Malayalam film we have not watched in Mathilukal. Mathilukal. Yeah. Which I like the, uh, the, it's it's much easier to say in English. The, the, the wall, right? Walls. Yeah. Walls, yeah. Uh, yeah. The 1990 yeah. Uh, film by Adore. Say the last name for me. I'm not looking at it. Oh. Gopal Lak. Hold on, I've got it here t two seconds away. Hmm. Um, yeah, it is by, it is, it is, um. Uh, Written, directed, and produced by Odur Gopalakrishnan, based yeah. on the autobiographical novel of the same name yeah. by Vaikam Mohammed Bashir. About his experiences in prison life, basically. Yeah. Uh, starring the uh, incomparable Mamuti. Uh, and I think this is the... Unless that... I think it was a Tamil film about... I think it was the Pride and Prejudice that we... Like the remake, or the, was it the Sens yeah. Sensibility? Whichever one that... I we right, did. it's one of those. I think mm -hmm. that one's not as old as this one, maybe. I don't remember, though. Um, I don't either. But I, I don't even, I think that was a Tamil film as well. Um, so that, that wasn't even Malayalam. Um, and so I believe this is one of the older, funny enough, only 1990, but one of the older Malayalam films we've ever seen. Um, older Mahmoodi film. I wanted to explore some um, classic Malayalam and Mahmoodi. Uh, specifically because, you know, uh, this, this past year we, we saw him in two really great films in um, yeah LJP's film and the uh, Cough All the Core, uh, which are both brilliant, uh, if you haven't seen that. So yes. I want to see some of his classic stuff. And this one obviously had been recommended a long, for a long time. And it uh, we saw the trailer a long time ago as well uh, for this. Um, I don't even remember us watching the trailer. Yeah, it was, uh, I think, maybe two years ago. Uh, and it was it wasn't like a real trailer. It was something somebody remade into a trailer um, because obviously it, oh, it, okay. it was 1990. Right. And so they didn't really do the trailer thing back then for Molly Ellen film. Uh, right. And so it's, it, it was just like a fan made makeshift kind of trailer um, right. that, that we reacted to uh, not too long ago. But right. anyways, obviously, it's came out in yeah, 1990. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, please go watch it. Come back um because it's gonna be a hundred percent spoiler review so rick your initial classic thoughts of the walls um so you know about michelin star rated restaurants yeah the tires they they really like food yeah um and uh so two things about it that were reminiscent for me watching this film it's gonna sound like a strange connection but it's 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 real so if a if a if a restaurant gets a single star it means it's worth a stop this is according to the michelin guidelines it means it's worth a stop if it gets two it's it, it means that it's worth a detour if it gets three it means it's worth a journey to get to it right and what's interesting about the michelin restaurant review thing is that 
they only talk about things that were worthy of the stars. Mm -hmm. They they don't bash restaurants that aren't good. They only talk about in the Michelin star things. They don't. They only talk about things that are good. So this one for me is a three star film, and I I have any wonder. I, I really don't. We don't have much to say if we don't like a film. You can tell from the length of a review whether or not whether or not we like a film because we just don't want to bash on films. Mm -hmm. The only time I really feel like bashing on a film is if I utterly hate it and wish it hadn't been made and want those kinds of films to stop being made. Um, but I, I, what is there not to like? What's not to like? Well, there's a lot to say. Yeah. Um, it's I, I had heard about this film for for quite some time especially when association with Mamoudi, I think when we had talked about what's what is one of the better ones, that's why we reacted to the trailer. I know you don't remember it, but um, because people wanted us to see it. And this is one of, one of, um, I, I think, I think he won best actor. And I think uh, the film also won an award or for some awards. I don't know. Obviously. There's yeah. So it won at the Venice film festival. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so it had a, so. a lot of acclaim back then. Mamoudi obviously is shooting up really fast for me in terms of, and I, I had always known his, his like his, um, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, reputation. Trajectory? Reputation. Oh, his reputation. Um, okay. As being one of the greats of all time, obviously, especially in Malayalam, but in Indian cinema as a whole. But obviously we yeah. had just not explored him that much. Um until this past really year uh, where yeah. we are, and I'm starting to really see why people are saying that. Cause I, the dude is one, I like his choices a lot, at least from what I've seen so far uh, in the little that we've seen, but also he just, he seems to like to do things that are interesting, things that are small, things that are story driven um and things oh, that you mean he actually likes to do things that are theater yeah yeah well and i i yeah. know he also has big yeah. films too he has these big massive films yeah. and, no and no stuff they like are that. but but uh, i agree i after watching this my thought was okay um if if you want to bookend this and coffle the core mm. if everything in between there is of the same caliber and of the same choices it's it says a lot about him in terms of first of all his why the Malayalam industry is what it is mm -hmm. and what he has inspired yeah and why we love that industry so much and then two uh I just I I just want to watch everything he's done because he's I mean this film made me feel like I was watching the same level of importance of a film as when I'm watching Satyajit Rai mm. and how the international community has acknowledged Satyajit Rai. I'm like, if he has a filmography from the walls to Kothal the core, that's as good as those films, then mm -hmm. the international community should be talking more about this man. Yeah. A hundred percent. And it's, he was, he was so. His charisma was really popping off the screen in this one. Like, like, and it was small. It was like, like it wasn't like he was like superstar Rajnikanth going out there, you know, being his no. super charismatic, stylish self, obviously, which is a, a totally different thing. But like in his just smallness and like his smile, it just gave off star for one, like like instant like it factor just by just being on screen, right? And this is his younger yeah. years. I think uh, younger years. He was older than me in this film. Uh, I think he was like right. a 39, 38 or something like that during this film. Um, but like he gave such nuances to this, he gave such, and it was very different for a prison film because it, it was so hopeful, mm. like the entire, like there were moments obviously that, and, and we'll talk about the ending and, and all that, and all that great stuff. Um, but for the most part, it was very like lighthearted kind of yeah. optimistic, a lot of time, and maybe that's because they're political and they they want the to especially for the time that this was in the forties as they were getting their independence, they were they were hoping for the best for the country and 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 that's um they were speaking out and and, and all that well, kind of and stuff. Well, a lot of a lot of the criminals weren't criminals. Yeah, some they of were them like were, this but, man. Yeah, uh, he, this guy's not a criminal. He's a, he's a writer who just said things that the government didn't like. Yeah. Um, but it was so intriguing because one, they just, 
that his director did such a good job job taking his time. Um, <laughs> they had nothing but time in this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> from just the like prison. From the beginning, yeah, just walking right. around the walls before you even yeah. got in the prison. And um, yeah. there was so many, so many, so much great dialogue. And I'm right at the beginning. I'm like, if this is going to be the entire thing, I was like, for for a second, I was like, are they even going to get into the jail, or are they just going to be walking around the walls for the entire thing? <laughs> yeah, half the and half of the film <laughs> is me. silence. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Um, but yeah, and and it, this film is probably taken in quarters, probably. Like like the first quarter is like getting to it and acclimating to the prison and, and his 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 group there. And then when they leave and his like despair of like, oh, I'm still here. Like I was so optimistic and then, then that yeah. you finally saw him kind of breaking down uh a little bit and losing hope um that he had for basically the first half of the film. Uh and then obviously the the uh the the phone sex uh scene. <laughs> basically yeah which i loved yeah. I, we'll talk about Me that too. that whole thing um because that was such a highlight of the film um but the way it was broken down was was so well done and you were invested the entire time in just watching like it was the definition of a fly on the wall right um stuff. yeah and it really did not just convey the reality of what prison life is like but there's so much symbolism about what life is like and how certain things require i mean just his his making of the flower garden and the uh, and how that relates to the line when he when he realizes he's not getting out he says maybe i my i just i haven't ripened yet mm. um but at the same time he can say it's so easy to give advice to guys and say smile even when it's bad but when you get stuck in it it's not so easy is it? it's just these really honest reflective truthful observations that also have linkage to things as um beautiful as the time it takes for a, a for flowers to grow the time it takes to get to know somebody the time it takes to have anything happen and all the all you have in prison is time mm -hmm. uh, i thought I, it i love that this is the kind of film that will weed out the people who don't appreciate art mm people who don't appreciate cinematic artistry and and just beautiful human interest storytelling about 20 minutes in will probably go because they just don't have the attention span and don't have the interest and they don't see the beauty in things like a shadow or the sound of a bird or just watching someone think this was very much the kind of film i could imagine uh any great actor but this role would be beautiful also and very different but irfan would have mm -hmm. just been great in this and that was so beautiful about there's no performing there's no indicating there's no awareness of camera it's just this man being this man in this situation and believing every second he's on screen in all the conversations um, and i believed um the, the writing was really, I'm sure, obviously, since it comes from this guy's novel about his time in prison. So I'm sure there were a bunch of them were just real conversations that he yeah. that he had in, in prison. Um, but it was just so intriguing and it just took its time and then it took turns and it's like, oh, this is now a different film uh, than, than what it was before. And um, like that, the, the whole sequence with him and the girl just turned into now this love um i couldn't believe it a love film like a like a i couldn't i couldn't believe it came in when it when it first started to happen i made a point to look at my time stamp on on where we were in the film and i thought wow you you could have made this a bigger part of the film but obviously you're being true to whatever the time frame was for this man in prison and how interesting is it to give us what is for me very much heart of the film mm -hmm. with only about 20 to 25 minutes left in the film yeah and then to and obviously make you feel like he did it was like oh i just started this i'm, I'm yeah. i've accepted where i am and now you're ripping it from me um regardless of how you know it was a real relationship to them because you know there was um <laughs> the longing of you know lovers in, in prison and, and the opposite sex or the the, the 
whatever you're into, obviously, but that whole that whole thing. And then when he doesn't get it and the heartbreak on his oh, face of on his face of and he's free. And but it's you could say, right. oh, my I I had what I was wanting. <laughs> I was yeah, content. That, exactly. What yeah. is freedom? Yeah. Yeah. What is freedom? And I loved the director's choice. It reminded me of one of my favorite choices in the history of cinema by a director. So in the passion of the Christ, right as Jesus dies, Gibson goes to a POV directly above the cross from the proposition of the POV of father God looking down. Mm. And from within the lens, you see a tear or a raindrop form and drop to the ground. And when it hits, the earthquake happens, which is also in the account in the Bible of what takes place. But it's that moment of the teardrop, raindrop forming on the lens and dropping. I was reminded of that in the very last frame of the film. We've seen Mamudi, and he's tearing up. And we go from to his POV looking at the twig that he can't respond to. And they go to soft focus blur, which is very like much tear, probably yeah. what's happening in his tear filled eyes. Yeah. And the fact uh, that it was it was beautiful that he knows he can't go over to her and she's going <sighs> to think now she is forgotten after they just right. had a conversation about, will you forget me if I die? Um, right. And now and she... you're going to be at the hospital. I'm yeah. the one with the rose. I'm the one with the mole. Yeah, and now he can't go because he's not in the prison system anymore. Yeah, oh. and it's <laughs> and you're like, oh, they just only knew each other through voice, and for such a little time. One, it was really like it was definitely like total phone sex that they were having <laughs> just through it the was wall. Wonderful, it was, yeah. it was awesome. Wonderful. Um, it was like, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna kiss you. I'm gonna kiss your bosom. I'm gonna like all this kind of. Um, awesome stuff that you would naturally do if you were in prison and isolated and longing for for um uh, companionship, basically. Yes. Um, yes. And then also you're just lonely, and so talking to anyone uh, is is uh, stimulating. Um, and to just have it ripped out from under you, right as you think it was starting, um. <laughs> you know, I love those kind of endings. That's that's it's it's very me to be for everybody to be unhappy. But <laughs> I uh, I really appreciated it. Uh, I did too. And the I did too. the entirety of the movie was like that, though. Um, it wasn't like ripping your heart out like the end, but it was like just good choices were made by this director, and I'm I'm, I'm intrigued to see his other things because um, I think it was a, a, a well written. I, I loved all the, and you could see how like his hierarchy in the prison system and or their love for him because when he started, he got this soupy rice, right? This disgusting soupy rice that he had to soup uh, like get most of the water out of, and he drank the water happily. And then at the end, he had a right. full bowl, bowl of rice. It was it looked like actual rice. Well done. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, and so, like, it showed, like, it was all those little tiny things uh, that they didn't really mention a lot of times in his relationships with different people. Um, just beautiful. Yeah, there's, it's it's really intriguing to me because uh, Mamudi, you know, there's there's actors that if I were had the opportunity to meet them and obviously work with them, that's a whole other animal, but just to be able to meet them, there are, there are several, many actors that when I meet them, I'd like to thank them for the film or films that they've done because of what it meant to my life. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like I, I Spielberg, I wouldn't know what to say because he has so many films that have shaped my world. Um, and same thing with Daniel Day Lewis. I don't know what I would say, but there's a few who have done one or two films and already just uh, if I met Mamudi, I would want to thank him for Walls and for Cothel the Core, because I think they're important films that are deeply impacting that everybody should see. And if the rest of his filmography is as good as these, which I'm suspecting they are, I can understand why Malayalam film is the way it is and why so many uh, stupid babies thank you for these recommendations, guys. It was a good classic month so and far. Anybody who doesn't know, it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Many forms, good actually. Good quality English subs. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
it was, we we got it was like 1.3 million views on it so um and it's a good quality with english subtitles so you good go, quality um, yes you can go watch it obviously i don't know how good the subtitles are you guys molly Alms can tell us if the subtitles do it any justice yeah. at all but it, it yeah. conveyed to us um the things that i think it needed to uh it's it's always hard um even in that um uh, rajnikanth film we just saw the yeah. patrons like the the subtitles were dog shit is what they said just yeah it um happens. and so it's like you can't unfortunately we since we don't speak the languages is what we got to do who who was first in malayalam was it mamudi or mohanlo or did they coming in the exact same time <sighs> That's a good question because I was looking up Mahan Luel right after I watched the film and I was trying to de decipher that myself as far as... They're the same age, about? I think they're about the same age. Mm -hmm. I, I, I may be Mahan Luel's... They've got to be within just a couple of years of each other and came in at the same time and have pretty much been the big one-two punch for the Malayalam industry. I mean, I know they've done others. I know Mahan Luel for sure has, has, has done, you know, other South stuff and mamudi um, is 72 yeah i knew that which is redonkulous man 72. yeah and he, he's a very uh, and johnny was shocked when we watched kothel the because he's playing a man about my age yeah and she believed it he is 63 mohanlo mamudi is oh so uh, a almost, decade older almost 10 years older but obviously we don't know who came first though obviously um true true um, one could have been younger and, and been there first. We don't know that that matters. I was yeah, just, I, I, I was just wondering I'm ready. because they're Stupid both babies. You... They're both really talented actors. Um, yeah, they and are. have shaped, I think Indian cinema, especially Malayalam cinema for since the eighties, uh, I'd imagine. Yeah, man. I mean, I just, I just keep recommending anything we need to see that. I mean, cause I'm, it's a huge filmography, but, I anything Mamudi's in, I'm excited for, including his new horror film coming up. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, which hopefully we get because you know Mamudi, we're Mamuts yeah. now. We're total Mamuts. Yep, total Mamuts. <laughs> is that the name of his fans? Let us know. I think they're called Mamuts. <laughs> I'm if if they're I'm not. I'm in the Mamudi for a Mamudi movie. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm gonna hashtag Mamuts fan club. Uh, yeah, I agree. Um, anyways. <laughs> Let us know what the next Malayalam classic should be from Mamudi or others. Uh, and let us know what the next Mamudi film, whether it's classic or not, uh, that we Please. should watch uh, is. And let us know what you thought about the film down below. <laughs>